Hey guys, Tales of Creed here. Welcome to a brand new project. Zone of the Enders, the second runner. Last time, uh, we finished off the first game, and now it's time to hit up the second game. Um, as you can see, I'm starting it off with the HD edition this time. Um, I was planning on not doing the HD edition. I was planning on doing the, uh, original game. But, um... Kojima was cool enough to uh, finally patch the problem with uh, the frame rate in the PS3 uh, version of this game. So I'm totally down with doing this, like, this HD version now, so... Really happy about that. Hopefully, uh, uh, that's really true. I haven't actually tested the game myself, but hopefully it's true and it's all good and dandy in 60 FPS, so... Let's start this up! Because I'm really pumped to start this game up. Um, we have a little problem here, though. Um, I'm going to be taking a page out of Naka's book, if you've seen Naka's uh, Let's Play of Zoe the Enders, the second runner. Um, this game is pretty hard. This game is pretty damn hard. Um, I played the game my first run on normal mode, and I got about like 30, uh, 30 deaths, 30 uh, game overs, I guess. It was pretty bad, and uh, I do not want to like have you sit through a bunch of meaningless deaths. Death? <laughs> Deaths, deaths. I can't say that, but um, you know what I mean, like game overs and stuff. I don't want to. I want. I don't want. To, pff, God, I don't want to have you sit through thirty game overs and shit like that. So I'm gonna be playing on easy mode. You can talk shit about me. That's fine, but I want to have fun, and I don't want to like have a hard time with pretty much like three parts of the game. I think are gonna be like annoying. I don't know how it is on easy mode, but on normal mode. Oh, fuck, it's annoying. <laughs> but I do love this game, and I'm really pumped to do it, so let's start it up. of the year was Hesperia Gales. No idle talk, you'll crash, Dingo. In the final 30 seconds, Henry G trashed out from field out. Man, we had a great time that night. 20 to touchdown. Can't wait for the new season. Position for landing. The people on Mars can start getting excited. I still have 200 more hours. Be a good kid and the time will fly. <laughs> That's unusual. What is? Indications of Metatron. But it's way too shallow. Angie, I want to change the landing point. I'll check it out. Okay. Rick, you hear that? I'll be back soon. Dingo, what team won in 66? I don't know much about back then. Ah. Piece of junk. Canceled. I reckon Rod Darsus is going to win this year. <laughs> there goes your entire salary again. I'm sure of it. Dingo, I think the Metatron reaction is from the direction of the arrow. Well, that didn't look menacing at all in the background, but welcome to Zone the Enders 2. Um, a lot different... A lot of different things happen in this game. This is where Kojima pretty much took this series and like fucked everything up. He well not not in a bad way. I mean, this is an amazing game. It like 
it took everything from the first game and just like blew it up like crazy it was awesome and I'm really excited to show that off to you as you can see you can see it right now I mean look how much fun we're having this is this is the game right here this is how the game's gonna go um, this is my mech uh, Jehuti doesn't exist anymore um, so this is it this is the game yeah we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be working for 200 hours I'm getting there. Don't worry about it. Uh, 200 hours of this. Just going to be working, uh, having a fun time on Callisto, this planet is called. Uh, just going to just gonna be grinding my way through. Will you, will you calm your tits, girl? You know, sometimes you got pushed a level a little hard just to get a little deeper in the, the, the planet, you know? Look at all this snow. Look at this planet. Looks like shit. We just got to dig it out, you know? But you can move her. Are you free? Yes. Is that you asking me out now? Sure. Um. Ow! Fuck. As you can see, this is. Oh God. Let's do this. Um. This is the mech we're gonna be using throughout the entire game. It's pretty good. Uh, something I really like about this new game. Um. A lot of new mechanics. <laughs> I'm on the ground. The Metatron is not very deep. And it's very strong. It wasn't here last time I came. Going back. Going back. Going. Shut up. Is it debris? The observation crews are goofing off again. What the hell is that? Anything wrong? I found something interesting. I'll check it out. Hatch unlocked. Where? A helmet. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling. What? Orbital frame. Uh. Nico, uh. I see a huge ship over there. Ah! What's happening, Angie? What ship did you see? Ah! Angie! Damn. A warship? It must be Bara. is damaged. Damn Barum. Barum? From Mars? How can you tell? Get your ship down into the ditch and stay hidden. All right. Verified as unmanned orbital frame, Raptor. Be careful not to get surrounded. Raptor destroyed. Uh, so, uh, obviously I was lying before. We're actually in, uh, Jehuti now. Um, unexplained events, but they'll... You'll be told about them soon enough. Confirming the enemy destroyed. What is the efficiency of this frame? 
This is orbital frame Jehuti. Do you want me to explain how to manipulate the frame? Who is this? This is detached backup battle unit, Ada. So this is a battle computer, isn't it? More reliable than the Lev's navigators. I'm completely different. Do you request control instructions? Yes, Ada. Please. And since he has no experience, he's obviously going to ask for instructions. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these because I feel like it'd be easier just to tell you. Uh, move is obviously left stick. Uh, normal attack is the square button. Um, dash attack is dashing while um, attacking with the square button. Dash is the um, the uh, right trigger, R2. Uh, burst attack is holding R2 in a like without moving. And then, like, pressing attack or shoot. Shoot and attack are actually the same button, by the way. They're square. It just depends on, like, how far away you are from the enemy. Which I actually don't mind. I thought that was good. Um, guard, I believe, is L2. If I remember correctly. Um, lock on. Um, you lock on automatically, I believe. You can just switch it up with uh, R or R. Um, the right stick. When I didn't even know you could do this, by the way. <laughs> Uh, ring radar is a um, a radar around your body. Um, when your enemies attack you, you will see their um, projectiles come at you from all directions. They'll say like projectile incoming, blah blah blah. So you'll know which way it's coming from and shit like that. Um, it's not too useful, but it's there. Uh, combo smash um, is pretty much just a regular combo with the square button. Um, at certain points, you can change the direction of your combo by pressing up, down. Um, I think that's it, up and down. So you can, like, point, like, which, it, like, where an enemy is going to go that way. And the camera is obviously right stick. So, there you go. I just saved you, like, ten minutes. We found our objective at point zero four. Roger. Departing for zero four. All right. So you can move up and down in the battlefield, by the way, with uh, triangle and X. Triangle up, X down. Um, oh, wow. Uh, mosquitoes, you usually want to take them out by holding the square button. You'll be able to get a lock on of all of them, usually. Well, not all of them, but like a good amount of them. And I, I can tell this game runs pretty good. I'm really happy with how it's running. I was like a little worried at first um, that it might not run at like the 60 FPS, but it's running pretty good, so I'm happy. But this is taking a very different turn than the first game. Um, the first game was all about like, well, not really, honestly. The Leo found the or orbital frame and was trying to protect his home by being invaded. And now Dingo, who is the main character of this game, um, he also found uh, Jehuti and uh, is pretty much just thrusted into this without, like, ever wanting to. Put me through to 663. Yes, I'll connect you now. Help me, Dingo! Where are you? My legs are damaged. Rick, where are you now? Ah! Don't move! I'll be there soon! Enemy approaching. It's approaching your way! Alright, more of these guys and some raptors. Uh, this game is very fast paced. Um, it, you're gonna see like very soon that this, this game can be really crazy, uh, really fast paced. It's just, it's ridiculous sometimes. And this is honestly one of my favorite games of all time, just because, like, it's... It's a very fulfilling to beat. Especially, like, on a harder difficulty, like, medium. Um, so it might not be, like... It might not seem as fulfilling, since I'm on easy mode, but I do want to have fun, and I don't want to be stuck on certain parts like crazy. Oh, I should probably tell you the camera changes, like, which way you're facing automatically. So when you're done moving, it switches. But, um... 
uh, what was I saying? This, this game can just be really crazy, really, it's a lot different than the, than the first game. The first game is pretty much just a demo compared to this game. Um, as you can see, I love dashing. I still love dashing. I'm always gonna love dashing. Okay, Raptor. There you go. But, yeah, I, I love this game. This is one of my favorite games. Um, I play it, like, I just got into this series not too long ago, and I, I really love this series, so... I'm really glad I get to play it again, but... There are, like, a certain, like, certain parts in this game that I am kind of afraid of. Um, you'll see later on, but they can be rather tricky and annoying, and it's really weird how you beat them, but you'll see later on. Um, this game's not very long, so you won't, it won't be that long of a project, but, uh, this is a fun game, and I really hope, uh, I can show that to you about, like, how fun it is. It's very fast-paced, um, so if things move a little too quickly, I'm sorry, I'll try, I'm trying to explain everything as fast as I can. So it's not like too crazy, but yeah. Whoa! Didn't expect that to happen so quick. Um, a lot of this game I love to play very like destructive. I love playing this game destructive. And what I mean by that is, I love just running in, guns blazing, fucking things up. It's pretty much the best thing about this game. So, if you see me dashing like crazy like this, it's just because I love moving fast in this game. I love that. I love, like, I don't know. Just, this game is like everything I want from a robot, like a mech kind of game. It, it does things very perfectly. And it does things like a lot of things I really love, so... It's, it's just an awesome game, and I really wish there was a third one, but unfortunately there's not. More raptors! Um, kind of seems a little li linear at first, but don't worry, that's going to change later on. Um, this is kind of like a tutorial level. Metatron, nice. Um, every time you get Metatron, you will get healed. Alrighty. Um, burst Stop attack. And keep the R2 button, then hit the for a burst attack. Yep, there you go. Why did you even bother teaching me if you're just going to tell me later on? But here we go. Hey, my friends. You'll have to give it to me. What does Barra want with Callisto? Oh? You don't look like a mining man to me. Get lost! There's a very random scream, but... Here we are with the first bar boss, our jet. Whoa, I forgot she moves that fast. Uh, not... I don't quite remember this boss fight, so... Forgive me if I fail. Let's go ahead and move in. Um, she's going to be keep. Uh, she's going to keep bringing out her little uh, laser things if we want to shoot them down with the uh, multi-shot laser thingamajig. Um, really cool thing about this boss fight. It pretty much just uh, 
uses like everything you've learned so far into action. Now I believe for this you just want to dodge, it's just going to be a laser attack. But yeah, this boss fight just implements a lot of the things you just learned, which is really cool. I, I love when boss battles do that, so... Oh crap. Bad day, bad day! I don't know what brought, like, that reference, but... Eh. Relatively easy boss battle, though, for the first one, so... Okay, we gotta back off. Come on. Beam it up. Bring out your little thingamajigs. Oh, no, okay, let's move in. Or not. There we go. So you want this frame, don't you? Maybe. Even if you're bar off, that's too rough. It sure is. Who's the commander? You think I'll tell? Wait! Good job, Dingo! Are you alright? Yeah! Dingo, the enemy is approaching me! Alright, I'll try to head them off. You will? Take care, Angie. What? Reaction inside enemy battleship. Entry is dangerous. If we don't do something, we'll be crushed along with Callisto. We have no choice. Oh. 